Dave Lawrence from the California Type Foundry. We are making our O. So let's see how fast I can do it. I said 20 seconds and I've been doing it now and I think it's more than 20 seconds. So we'll see if how fast I can do it. But I'm gonna give myself a head start and at least have my correct tool started. Okay, so here we go. Ready, set, go. Uh, uh, okay, uh, <laughs> clicked on the wrong spot. There we go, there we go. Okay, do that, parallel, okay. Reverse contour, come on, reverse. And then, almost done. Okay, 20, 20, pretty close to 20. Okay, so that's it. It is actually pretty balanced with everything. And you can see that it's, if you have the, if you know how to use all these tools, you can make this stuff pretty quick. And this is gonna be pretty balanced with the end. So now I'm gonna break down the steps that I used in order to be able to make it within about 25 seconds. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is we're gonna close, uh, actually we're just gonna click on the other tab here, which goes back into this screen, okay? And uh, yeah, we are gonna have to balance it a bit with the end. But uh, we're gonna hit uh, font info here. <clears throat> and so where we're going to this time is we are going to go to font dimensions, okay? So this is where we're gonna label, and I should have changed this. I wanted the curve tension to be 61, so we're gonna have to sort of manually adjust that. But this is what, um, 55 is about a perfect circle. So if you're making a geometric, then something like 56 uh, is a pretty good number or in the 55, 56 range. Okay, with a grotesque, that's gonna be closer up to 60, 61. Okay, I'm gonna put that down for now. Okay, so we change that there, push okay. And we're gonna just, we're gonna just copy this somewhere else. I'm just gonna copy that, put that, I'm putting some of my old versions down there and I'm, we're gonna do sort of show you how to do it step by step. So I'm deleting that out. Okay, zooming out here. Okay, now we are going to go to the ellipse tool. So what I wanna do is I want to decide, with the N we'd already decided, well maybe we're, our overshoot is gonna be about 15. So with the O, I wanna go about to the middle of the O area here See, so I can sort of look at where this part is to know where to do it. And then go down to about a 15. Okay, so now I'm gonna double click there. Okay, <clears throat> so what I do is since we went to the middle, I love this thing here. This helps us to, to put it in the right spot. So if I put this in the middle, and you want if you put it on this, that's gonna make it more of a circle. If you put it on this curve, it's gonna use our curve settings that we just made, which was use the 61, uh, curvature. So height, you want to make an overshoot of 15 for the bottom and 15 for the top, so that adds up to 30. So that's why I made that 530, and our X height is 500 for this font. So that's why I put all those numbers there. Okay, so so if we wanted to, and I actually felt like that O might have looked a little thin. I, I like my O's wide. If you're making this an economical face, then maybe you want to make this something like 480 or 450 or whatever. But I wanted to make mine a little bit uh, wider. So I'm gonna try at 510. The closer you get to the, these both being equal, the closer that gets to a, sort of a more wide, uh, generous and geometric look. Okay, so I'm gonna push okay there. So that makes our primary circle. Now we're gonna double click the whole thing. Now what we do is we go, and let me clear off, for that I had, assigned my special shortcuts. So I'm gonna just, I have it already saved, so I'm gonna reset my shortcuts to the defaults. So we are gonna go up to contour. We are going to go to create parallel contour. So what I did is I chose 95 for the last one because our font was, oh, our font was 75. I chose the wrong number. That's why I look so thick. Okay, so take your number 75, uh, whoops, and uh, use your calculator. And I'm gonna make it about, if you do 105%, that's that. If you make it an extra 10%, then that'd be times 1.1. So that'd be around 83. 
83 sounds like a lot better number. Okay. So, so if this is locked, then that's going to make it 83. If we want it to be offset a little bit less on the Y, then let's make that a little bit below the 70. Um, let's make that maybe 90%. So I'm going to do times a 0.9, so maybe 68, something like that. So these just are general. I'm doing the, the math up here, but just doing what sort of looks good to your eye is also works, okay? So I'm, I'm going to put that in, and then I'm going to reverse this contour, okay? So I reversed the outside one. So what we did is we right-clicked, and then I clicked on reverse contour in order to get there. So we have a pretty good looking O now, and this one is, should be more balanced with our other one. And what you can do is you can open up the preview panel. So I'm gonna close this out here. I wanna go click on panels, and I'm gonna go down to preview, and then we can see how they look together. Okay, N, O, N, O. Okay, the side bearings are really bad. So let's fix that up. So you're going to click on, so we're getting a new tool here, edit the metrics tool. And that is too big. So if you, if it ends up looking too big like this, then push command plus one, and that's going to put it at the actual size that you have up here. <clears throat> okay, so this, I didn't really pre-plan what I was going to have. We can maybe make this like a, uh, it depends. You know, it depends if this is a text font that we're making, then you want to make it different. Um, and then we're going to make this something like 90-something percent of that one. So we make this a 50 and a 46. Okay, so let's go to the O. We had made that pretty much in the center, so he's actually looking pretty good. So I'm going to make that a 50 on both sides. And so so you can do your tests, and you can put in a bunch of... Oh, I put in zeros instead of O's. O's, and if that looks too spacey for you, then bring it close in. I think 45 is usually a pretty sort of good sort of standard number. The ends, uh, those should look a little bit more farther away than the O, so those don't look like they have enough on them. Uh, and let's bring him down. Actually, the 35s, 30s to 40s, That I think I was thinking about the uppercase there. Um, let's make him 40s for now. And I'm going to show you some special stuff of how we can even do this faster, especially when we get to the other letters, how we can make all this go quickly with formulas. It, it makes it makes the work really easy. Okay, 60 and also quit fast. Once you get the hang of it, it's a, it takes a little bit of time to learn, but just the time you save is well worth it. Looking at what I have up here, that is, that's looking pretty good. We can try a word like noon um, just to see how that looks. I mean, it depends how you like. If you like a closer O, then maybe you want to go in a little bit more. So really, if I go down by two, that's really going down by four because the space on both sides here. So that's different from kerning. So is this the side bearings compared to kerning? Whenever you do two, one on the side bearings, that's equal to two moves of your kerning. Okay, so that's just something to think about. And that's why a lot of people do a precision level of two here where they use just even numbers. Okay, cool. So that is looking not too bad. Okay, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that that was, has been, uh, the video has been interesting for you. Um, please subscribe down below for more uh, font inspiration, for more graphic design inspiration, and we will see you next time. Thanks.